Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is 3 p.m. Cairo local time. Time for Panorama News, a comprehensive review of the world of politics, business and sports. I'm Ram Morsi and I'll bring you the latest updates from the world of politics and business. We start with some local news where the Minister of Interior, Magdi Abdelghaffar, mourned today police martyrs who sacrificed their lives to protect the nation. The minister made these remarks after six policemen were killed and three others wounded in a bomb attack targeting two security patrols in Al Haram neighborhood of Giza Governorate. The operations center of the Giza Civil Police Department earlier had said that an explosion was heard nearby a Salam Mosque at Al Haram district in Talbeya. An exclusive remarks to the state-run news agency MENA, a source at the Interior Ministry, stated that the policemen killed included two ranking officers, a sergeant and three conscripts. The Ministry of Health confirmed the death toll and said that the wounded suffered minor to medium injuries and are currently being treated at hospitals. The sources also stated that a military funeral will be held for the martyrs. President Abdel Fattah Sisi attended celebrations marking the anniversary of the birth of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Marking the occasion, the president addressed Arab and Islamic nations, saying there is no room for terrorism, stressing that efforts to uproot them would continue. In his address, President Sisi stressed the significance of renewing religious discourse, reiterating that Al-Azhar is the institution to shoulder the responsibility of rectifying the true image of Islam. The celebrations were attended by a number of high-ranking officials. Topping them was the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, Sheikh Ahmad Al-Tayyib, who delivered a speech marking the occasion. General Mahmoud Hagazi, the chief of staff of the armed forces and his Greek counterpart, witnessed the main phase of a joint military drill between the two countries, codenamed Medoza 2016. The drill conducted from the 5th until the 8th of December in the southern Aegean Sea involved air and naval forces from both countries. The military drill includes training sessions on search and rescue missions, combating smugglers and illegal migration, as well as protecting maritime targets. Foreign Minister.